Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another Kianda Smart Home tutorial. By installing motion sensors on your property based on how you use them, home security can be improved, energy can be saved, and also more convenience can be gained. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a smart motion sensor using ESP development board in Home Assistant. To continue an ESP development board integrated with Home Assistant and also a motion sensor is needed. In this video, I'm using ESP32 development board with HCSR501 motion sensor. Using this PIR sensor, it's recommended power supply is 5 to 12 volt DC. When this sensor detects movement, its output becomes high at 3.3 volts. Two trim pots on one side of this module allow you to adjust sensitivity and delay time, meaning how long the output of this relay remains high when it is tricked. Its sense ranging is less than 120 degrees within 7 meters. Let's jump to the program. As I mentioned, your ESP development board must be integrated with Home Assistant. If it's not, watch the video in description or the video at the top right corner of the screen. In order to make motion sensors using ESP development boards, we need to add binary sensors. Or let's say we need to use binary sensors. Let's start. In Home Assistant UI, click on Supervisor. On the left panel, select ESP Home, then click on Open Web UI. This is the YAM file of my ESP32 development board. By editing this file and installing it on the board, we can change or let's say program our board. I click on Edit. At the bottom of the file, I paste the codes related to defining motion sensor. As I said, motion sensor is binary. Platform is GPIO. I use pin number 4, GPIO number 4 for my motion sensor. Talking about which pins of ESP development board are best to use for input and output, check the links in description. In name section, I named my motion sensor motion sensor. You can change it to what you need. Device class is motion. This is related to how the device is displayed in Home Assistant. By clicking on install, the edited YAM file will be installed on my board. And after connecting the motion module to the board, everything is ready to be used but I need more programming to continue our video I want my motion sensor to control one of the outputs of my development board so we need a switch as an output I paste the codes or let's say the lines related to defining an output as I said it is a switch I use pin 16 for the output. In name section, you can name your output whatever you want. I need ID for automations. In order to automate my switch with motion sensor, I need this ID. So I set the ID to relay underscore one. We can create automations in the YAML file. The benefit of defining automations in ESP Home is that they execute on the ESP itself and will continue to work even if the Wi-Fi network is down or MQTT server is not reachable. Let's paste the code for the automation. At the end of defining binary sensor, I enter the codes related to automations. I paste them. Here we have unpressed. 
means when the sensor is tricked then switch is turned on which one relay one relay one is set to on if motion sensor or let's say movement is detected on release means when motion sensor stops detecting movement what happens I want relay 1 to be set to off so here I use an automation by clicking on install the file is saved I select wirelessly in installing the edited YAML file into the board begins wait till installation completes In installation is completed I click on stop let's talk about the wiring this is my PIR module the three pins of it by removing its cover you can see that the left pin is VCC the middle pin is related to output of the sensor and the right pin is related to ground let's connect the motion sensor to the board this wire the black one is connected to ground of the pin and I connect it to ground pin of the sensor this pin is 5 volt DC and the white wire is connected to pin number 4 I connect the white wire to the output of sensor the 5 volts DC I connect it to VCC pin of the sensor this is the wire I define pin number 16 as an output I connect an LED to this pin to test our motion sensor In Home Assistant, I navigate to Configurations, select Integrations. I select my ESP32 development board, click on three dots of the device, delete it. Okay. Then I click on Add Integration, search for ESP Home, click on it, enter the IP address of my board, and click Submit created configuration for ESP32 finish this deleting and integrating the board again helps to reload the new program I click on ESP32 it has one device two entities I click on the device select it here we have a motion sensor and a relay using home assistant I can turn on and off the relay as you see the LED turns on and off motion sensor is clear if sensor detects movement the light is turned on after a while it is turned off you can change the delay time by rotating this trim pot clockwise this sensor stays high as long as any movement is detected during the delay time I have set the delay time to 5 seconds as long as we have movement the LED is on after 5 seconds the LED becomes off so by this motion sensor we made we can control outputs of our ESP boards regardless of the board is connected to the Wi-Fi or not and we can see its feedback on home assistant UI thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up 
don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.